Welcome to the content presentation module of LifeRay DXP Basics course. In this module, we'll be learning and understanding how to use free marker templates to structure platform content. We'll also learn how to style web content on LifeRay out of the box. And then we'll learn how to use widget templates to customize LifeRay widgets. We'll be going through a few exercises in this module. And so there's a few prerequisites to be able to run those exercises. The first is that you need Java JDK, the Java Developer Kit installed to run LifeRay DXP. You can download it at the download link here. If you're installing Java for the first time, you'll also need to configure an environment variable, Java underscore home. This is in all caps and this is one word. You can Google how to do that for your machine, whether it's Windows, Mac or Linux. So again, this is Java underscore home and you'll need to Google that if you're setting it up for the first time. We'll be running our LifeRay instance of DXP on 7.3, so you'll need to have that. You also need Visual Code Studio or a similar IDE or integrated development environment installed. So I personally use IntelliJ, but there are also similarly good choices. And finally, you'll have an unzipped module exercise folder in the following folder structure. So if you're on a Windows machine, this will be the LifeRay folder in your C drive. And if you're on a Unix system, this will be the LifeRay directory in your user home directory. So we'll take a quick look at our use case for Livingston Hotels and Resorts. We're concerned with three parties again. So the first one is the web team. And this team is responsible for implementing branding and functionality to provide the ideal user experience for customers and employees. And so this team is concerned with user experience. The design team is the second party, and this team is responsible for producing mockups for the web developers. And so they are responsible for creating the visual drafts. How should the website look? And then finally, the web developers, they are responsible for implementing the mockups provided by design team. And they'll be using technologies they're familiar with, such as NPM, Yeoman, React, so front end technologies. So we'll be looking at content presentation KPIs and what this is doing is twofold. First, it increases user engagement with front end design. And this is good for a variety of reasons for customer retention, for people interacting with the page. And then it also decreases site building and content creation time. And so this directly decreases turnaround time, decreases costs, which means that you have a shorter development life cycle. And this is ultimately good for your use case too. So now we'll talk briefly about user experience in LifeRay. The first thing is FreeMarker. So FreeMarker templating language or FTL is an intermediary between the backend and the frontend in LifeRay. And so we're pulling data. We have the ability to manipulate some data from the back, but we're helping it to display on the front. And we'll see some of this because FreeMarker has several constructs that can be used in addition to HTML. So it can create variables, arithmetic, logical operators. So very backend style things that you have access to through FreeMarker through this template. FreeMarker is used in all the front end templates in LifeRay. And so some places where they show up are theme modules, web content templates, widget templates, and workflow notification templates. And I'll go into this right now. There's the four kinds of templates that we just talked about. Widget templates are used to control the presentation of several widgets on the platform. You can use web content templates to style different web content if you wanted to display a certain way. Workflow notification templates are simply free marker templates. And then theme templates, they control the site page and element HTML structure. And so if you wanted a header bar or a footer bar displayed in a certain way, you wanted to show a certain thing on all of the pages of the site, you can use a theme template.